Within this upload, you're going to see some amazing things within this magic number of 33. I swear to God, forgive me for saying that, but really, everything that's happened today, Saturday, the 6th of July, it's unbelievable in terms of what I'm about to show you. So, here we go. As you see on the screen, we have the picture of Luke Littler and the usual words that are on all my endings of recent times in terms of live life to the max and live long. However, if you see as it says there, does special things. And in this upload, you're going to see very special things in relation to this number. And I kid you not, I'm not exaggerating. Should you watch it from here, from the start to the end, you'll fully understand how this number is special because the people involved haven't exactly picked their names specifically for this number. So it really is almost, I don't know, I can't even explain it in the sense of forgetting about the stars and the newspapers that you read. This number really is amazing. So as I said, we have now the picture of all tennis stars of past, present, and future. And unbelievably, in itself, Tennis Star is Code 33. And as I said, folks, this is just the beginning. As I was actually making this upload today, I actually got a flash call on my phone where it was telling me that Emma Raducanu had pulled out of the doubles due to her significant efforts within Wimbledon. So that in itself meant that Andy Murray himself would not be playing any other official game at Wimbledon. I can't foresee him not having a shot at possibly some sort of exhibition game that they may well put on for the fact that it will be the last official time you'll probably see him at Wimbledon on a playing capacity. But going back to Emma Raducanu, you can actually see that herself as she has risen from her time when she won the US Open, I believe, on 2021, and after even overcoming some surgeries to her wrists and whatnot, unbelievably, her name herself is Code 33. So like I said about special things, this upload being very special, this is just the beginning of what you're seeing. As I said, Tennis Star itself is Code 33 and many people will have their own debate about who they think is the best player in the world in regards to the players who could compete, as in Rafael Nadal, Novak Djokovic and also Roger Federer. Before I go any further on this upload, I'll just mention that I wouldn't be mentioning anything about Nadal nor Novak Djokovic. But if you want to know more about Novak Djokovic and the Masons, then I highly recommend you go over to this guy who I've put up on the screen for you. And don't forget to mention that I sent you there to see exactly further New World Order videos along with the Flat Earth. I strongly recommend that you see this man. He is very good. Okay, so going back to the actual time now of Roger Federer and Andy Murray. The two of them are very good friends. They've been in competition against each other for many years. And it's actually stunning that as I did my research, it turns out that Roger Federer himself, as you see the pictures going through all of his achievements and even within the royalty, unbelievably, he himself, Roger Federer, is also code 33. Unbelievable. And as I'm moving on with this upload, getting through the tennis stars, we also then have this moment here where Andy Murray has his farewell montage where all the players of past and present are telling him 
good luck for the future and he's done very well. So I'm actually now going towards Andy Murray because if you see the next picture, which is of Jim O'Fixit and many other incidents around that time, you can see there as it's homing in on Dunblane because that is, of course, where Andy Murray comes from. But you also see there where we also have an ex-Mason leader explaining about the cover-up within that Dunblane incident. So that's why it's important that this is the whole connection to what I'm going to now. And that would be that on the 12th of November 2017, just over six and a half years ago, I had made a video which within itself was actually my fifth video ever in relation to talking about all the hierarchy and the devious behaviours that they have. And as you see on the next screen across from that, you can actually see that I've made a video where, in fact, you can see that on March the 6th, I've covered Jimmy Savile himself in terms of him being protected by the Masons. And it's actually stunning that Maggie Thatcher herself is also code 33. For the people who are sharp high there, apart from the jihadis, as I say about every single stage thing in the world, yes, Savile has got an extra L there. The reason he is there is because I misspelled it, but I'm going to keep him there because in truth, as I pronounce his name, it's Jimmy Sav Vail, as in Sa Vail. He's a very Vail man. And you can also see there we have Joe Lysett, as I've also covered him, also in relation to the overall transgender staged events. So again, people, you need to understand that everything in the world is what it is, staged. Also touching further on that video in terms of my fifth ever video, you can also see that Donald Trump would be actually my sixth video ever in terms of him trying to be the president for a second term, which I predicted at that time he would not be president. We'll soon see whether or not he will be president come November this year, 2024. I might make a video on that, we'll see. So going back to Andy Murray, we have Andy Murray, as I said, coming from Dunblane, a humble boy, nothing special, does what he's told, he goes to school, he likes his tennis and he gets into training. This is where it gets interesting. Remember, as I said about Luke Littler and his surname, so when I looked into Andy Murray, which I actually have had for quite some time, but now is a perfect time to release this upload, you can see already that we have right at the top there in terms of why the coded world for what it is, as yes, I do make my videos in terms of exposing the hoax world that it is, but I can tell you now, folks, that we have at least 70% of my super list, which is positive words. And you can see there as I'm trying to get this out, mum and dad is code 33. So you can see the mum and the dad there and you can actually see also that his surname, like Littler in terms of special and doing promising things, is also code 33. So as I say, when you see these pictures going through his career and you also see that image where it's his famous roar, which really has been the benchmark to how he's managed to achieve what he has achieved in his career. And again, you see the Wimbledon trophy. Now, this is where it gets interesting. In itself, Andy Murray itself is code 33. Unbelievable. As I said, his name isn't made up. He hasn't got any other name, like if you're in the acting industry where you may well have an alias name in terms of your persona. But true enough, Andy Murray is code 33. So when you see the special things that Andy Murray does, it really is sensational to what I'm about to show you now. Because as he has now become knighted, as in he is now Sir Andy Murray, how it would be for him to have the perfect fairy tale life. And I'm about to show you folks for the very first time, if anybody else has got something similar, please show me. Because if you want to know about the list that I have, I don't think anybody can compete. Because right here, folks, Sir Andy Murray is code 33. Unbelievable. But it doesn't end there. As you see the man who has actually knighted him, I've already covered videos about this before, but there we see it, Charles III and also 
chasing the dream which Andy Murray has well achieved and also on top of that you can even see King Charles himself who is also code 33 this is what you call kissing of the hand he isn't exactly going to kiss his hand as he had to kneel for him to be knighted and at the bottom there you even see knight itself code 33 so this is as I said special people can get special things it doesn't matter who you are you can have your name by luck on this list, but genuinely, it just I have all the 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 history as you've seen in terms of thousands and thousands of code. It doesn't end there as I'm coming to the end of this upload. I haven't forgotten about the Queen, as people will be asking me, well, what is the Queen? Where is she on the list? I've already made an upload on the Queen, but you'll actually see astonishingly along with the fact that you have king and queen together, we have queen consort Camilla, precisely code 33, folks. As Andy Murray prepares to say goodbye to Wimbledon, we ask the question, is he Britain's greatest ever sportsman? Well, he certainly embraced the field of battle where there's nowhere to hide on a tennis court. He absolutely loved the heat of the moment with a fierce will to win, winning 46 titles in total. There were three Grand Slams, of course, the US Open, two Wimbledons. He defended the Olympic title, which no man has ever done. Two Olympic goals to his name and the ATP Tour Finals, and he was world number one. And all of that in the golden era of men's tennis, the golden era of Djokovic, Nadal and Federer. And the fact that there have only been five different names on the Wimbledon trophy since 2003 tells you how difficult it is to win here and how good he is. And then there's the work ethic, the training away from the court, the ice baths, the workouts in the gym, the attention to detail, all of that rehabbing multiple times from several injuries. But the biggest challenge, the biggest physical challenge of all was coming back from that hip resurfacing operation in 2019. And none of the medical profession said he would ever play singles tennis again. But he came back, he did the work, he proved them all wrong. He even won a tournament and then there's the way he's inspired a new generation of tennis players showing the British players it is possible to win in this very difficult sport take the Davis Cup Britain hadn't won that the World Cup of tennis in 79 years he decided let's give it a go and they did win he mentors the young players he gives them advice and let's not forget how he champions women's rights as well. He was the first male player to hire a female coach in Amelie Moresmo. So let's have a debate. Join in with your comments. Is Andy Murray, Sir Andy Murray, Britain's greatest ever sportsman? It is a journey that few get to make, from young dreams... It doesn't really bother me what I do, just as long as I'm playing. ...to centre stage. Hi, Andy. How are you? I felt a little bit of pressure. I think I dealt with it. An English kid won the US Open Junior. <laughs> ...to centre court. Camera speed. We're good to go. Rolling. We know that journey, and we know what it's like to live those dreams. We hear the sound of the crowd. That noise. A muscle man from Dublin. It feeds you. We know that need to play this game, that will to win that you have. On the court, it is you against an opponent. Sometimes it looked like you against the world. But you were never alone. Because while you carried your own dreams, you also carried theirs. 
They shared that long wait and the hope and the pain when it felt so close. It's the fourth Grand Slam final. He hasn't won. Right, I'm going to try this and it's not going to be easy. But it made the joy even greater when it came. And you simply cannot give more. Those victories were earned by you. The waiting is over. Andy Murray is the Wimbledon champion. But those golden days belong to everyone. I never take it for granted. I know how hard they are to win. We're measured by the titles and trophies. But what matters more is, are you proud of how you played the game? Did you fight for yourself? And did you fight for others? Sam is the first US player to retire. Mel player. <clears throat> Beg your pardon? Mel player. Success brings the spotlight, awards, attention. But for you, it was always about the tennis. Always drawn to that beautiful torment. The resilience! This is the blood digging deep! Yet always knowing that there was life outside of the lines. And us, we have been against you. And with you. And we know how it feels right now. But in the end, we all shake hands with the opponent you cannot beat. The pain is, is too much, really. I can't keep doing this. But it's Murray's time in the sunshine of center court once again. We were proud to play against you. And with you. All of us. Always with you. As much as you may well think this is a joke, folks, this is all real in terms of the Freemasonic Code, which is effectively the English language and the Bible and everything else in history put together. I will leave you now with a cartoon slot that you will almost certainly have seen if you watch Looney Tunes. And then after that, you will see my usual ending. As always, I hope you do your best to stay safe, strong and sharp. Thanks. That's all, folks. Mayo, age 33. Fatigue, malaise, fever, splenomegaly. Increasing shortness of breath for the past six months. Congestive heart failure. Recent cardiac infarction with mid-diastolic gallop rhythm. Mitral area. Subacute bacterial endocarditis. Left sternal border area. Before listening to the recording, a careful review of the text on the album cover is essential. Become aware of what's going on in your mind. Picture in your mind what I'm saying as we go through the exercise. Use imagery. Create mental pictures. <laughs> My friends, your time has come, your time has come, your time has come, your time has come.
<laughs> a mysterious hand is a soft technique. The hand acts like a soft but extremely powerful fan. And the movements will hypnotize you so that you don't know what you're doing at Master. all. <laughs> the movement confuses the person, and within a split second, he can be defeated. Master. <laughs> like so. Like so. Listen. You're in a privileged position to learn a thing or two. Keep your mouth shut and your eyes open. Everybody be cool. You be cool.